Yo, what's going on everyone? Saints Ben here and welcome to the final DLC car video on the new Lowrider Custom Classic. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys the Faction Donk. All the customization, the price, and everything. So, to buy it, the, the base price of the car is actually pretty inexpensive. It's only $39,000. However, the two upgrade costs, so to get the regular Lowrider, if you're wondering, is $335,000. And the Donk version, to upgrade to the big wheels is 695,000 so roughly around 750,000 to 800,000 to upgrade this all the way first and foremost there's going to be some opinions i already know on this car people are either going to really like it or they're going to hate it i understand why you want to hate it it looks retarded yes that's fine but i think for the people who do like it like me we embrace that and we don't take it as serious as some people and i know that's it's completely up to you whether you want to take it serious or not but it's just something for the time being since it is new that we're going to use and, and drive around in. and i will say it actually does have some usefulness to it for off-roading and i'll get to that in a second but this was like a surprise car for me when i first saw it i hated it i thought the idea of donks would be interesting how it would be implemented uh, unfortunately it's only on this one car maybe in the future we'll see more but the way they did implement it i i really like it apart from the price obviously it does cost a lot and I don't know if that price is justifiable by what you get out of it. That's going to be up to you to decide. If you have enough money, buy it. If you don't, don't buy it. Maybe wait for the other cars. Because honestly, in a, in a week or two, you probably won't be using this car that often. In terms of customization, it's got pretty decent customization. The liveries are actually kind of cool. Although I only like a few of them. The Sprunk and the Zebra one. Uh, the first Zebra one looks pretty cool as well as like the ocean one and i think the the cherry one looks pretty nice it's going to be interesting to see how you guys can you know make your own donk version for the car shows later on tonight this car is actually pretty strange because i really did not think i would like this car but surprisingly there are a few reasons why i do number one uh the way the donks work there's like hydraulics on them and i love the animation when you hold a like it lowers it slowly or makes it go higher you can lower the back you can lower the front it's really nice and the handling is surprisingly well done i thought for sure when you had like when you were really high up in the air when you turned you would go flying and flipping but you don't and that's awesome because obviously if you went flying and flipping when you were that high in the air nobody would use this car another really awesome feature is that you can sort of make your own off-road version like this car is great for off-roading on my live stream if you guys checked it out i went out in the swamp area by the military base and you can pretty easily go through that water because you're so high up there are a few areas where you can't get through but it's it's actually pretty interesting like it, i don't know it's another dynamic or new dynamic to a car in gta online and if you take all of that into account that is why i actually kind of am enjoying this car I still, however, do think it's going to fall into the same trap that the Lowriders did where it's cool now, but in a week or two, you're not going to really use it. Although I will say, you know, this one, it's it's definitely more unique than the Lowriders just because it's got the giant wheels. Speaking of those wheels, actually, pro tip, if you use the SUV rims, I think the rims actually are a little bit bigger than all the other versions. But overall, this one is a tough choice for me to definitively say buy it or don't buy it. If you want it for the time being and you have a lot of money or a decent amount of money, buy it and then, you know, when you need money, just sell it because I think it sells for like 500-ish thousand or something like that. And for the people who are there who think this is a stupid car to be added to GTA Online, who cares? It's a game. Let's just have fun and, and not worry about what other people do to their cars. But those are my thoughts. You let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you like this donk version? Like, were you surprised by it or do you not like it? Do you Are you not going to buy it? Let me know. I'm interested to hear. See you guys in the next video, though. By the way, if you don't know, I'm doing a shark card giveaway on my Twitter. Go follow me there. But see you guys in the next one. And as always, it's your boy Saints. Venom out. Peace.